Hi everyone, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media East 2016 in New York City. I'm having short conversations with thought leaders in our industry, and right now I'm joined by Alex Giladi, Principal Architect at Comcast. And uh, besides your fascinating work at uh, that giant, you're also involved in multiple working groups about the development of Dash, the future of Dash, and that's what you're going to be talking about here tomorrow. Um, I'd love to hear from your perspective. What are the challenges Dash is facing and, and where is it going? What new features can we expect in the implementation? So thank you for having me here. Yes. And uh, I think that uh, what, uh, what is happening right now and what has been happening um, the for the last couple of years is pretty exciting. So when uh, Dash was, or uh, was originally designed, there were use cases that uh, we, di uh, we didn't address or uh, we, ad we addressed, but uh, some things were missing. And a lot of work uh, went into making sure that uh, things are uh, handled better in the second uh, and uh, the upcoming third edition. Mm -hmm. So a lot of interesting uh, things are happening and uh, in uh, practice a lot, of uh, a lot of interesting things uh, are happening for uh, broadcast and for live distribution. Okay, I think we're now far more robust, uh, far, far more efficient, and uh, in my personal opinion, we are more, uh, more efficient at uh, what, you, uh, what you can get uh, right now out of uh, other streaming systems. Okay. What are the main uh, improvements that you're looking at for this third version? Uh, there, are, uh, there are a lot of different things that, uh, uh, that are going into it. One uh, interesting thing is uh, reduction of uh, latency. So with, with HLS, uh, you can go, uh, you can go uh, to 30 seconds. Right now with Dash, you can be at uh, several seconds. And the uh, thought is that in some advanced cases, you can, go you can go below a second. And this is something that is uh, go going on now. So you can handle below a second latency for live uh, 4K video? Are we talking about high resolution? So there, uh, there are tools for, uh, uh, do, uh, for doing low latency. Mm -hmm. uh, the resolution and the specific codec is a completely orthogonal pr uh, problem. So the problem that is handled by, uh, by Dash is how to, uh, how to signal this uh, and how, uh, how to make sure you can actually get, uh, get to this. What is uh, in there in terms of, co of codec uh, is a different question. This is actually the nice thing about Dash versus uh, many other systems. You can, uh, you can use uh, Dash with completely diff uh, different codecs. It's up, to, it's up to the implementation. For instance, there are, uh, there are people that are, use, uh, that are using Dash with, uh, with VP9, and it works perfectly well. And we're going to see a new version in the fall, is that correct? So there, uh, there is uh, the latest amendment, fourth amendment, which is the, uh, the last thing we're, uh, we're going to have till the, uh, till the next uh, version, till the, uh, till the next edition. And uh, it, um, it is uh, being finalized now. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, I know we all can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. And uh, thank you very much for joining me here today. Thank you. All right, coming to you from Streaming Media East, this is Troy Dreyer.